is a semi-automatic and automatic battle rifle that has been used all over the entire world throughout the last several decades. And there's probably a lot of things you know about the FAL, but what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about 10 things you probably didn't know about the FNFAL. Number one, there are over 90 countries that use the FAL during the Cold War. Almost every single country in NATO used the FAL with the exception of the United States. Number two, because of its heavy use in most of the free world, including NATO during the Cold War, it was dubbed the right arm of the free world. Number three, chambered in a 7.62 by 51 NATO. However, it was originally designed to fire the 280 British when it was a prototype, or a 7.92 by 33 Kurtz in Germany. This British variant was redesigned from the SI metrics into British Imperial units and called the L1A1 self-loading rifle. This system of units was brought about the British Weights and Measures Act of 1824, which is only used in the UK and Canada. Number four. In 1950, British pushed for the 280 British being a standard versus the US 30 light rifle, which later became 7.62 NATO. FN went with the United States choice of the 7.62 NATO overall, and then the United States never even used this rifle. Number five. In 1951, the Labor Party in England lost power, returning this power to Winston Churchill with the position of Prime Minister once again. And it was this debate over the widely used FAL that brought about an agreement between Churchill and U.S. President Harry Truman to standardize ammo sizes for all NATO countries. And it was because of the FAL debate that ultimately led to the dub NATO for different ammos. So all that ammo, 7.62 NATO, 5.56 NATO, 9mm NATO, was all because of this debate over the FAL. Number six. The FAL, of course, made by FN Herschel, produced over 2 million for military use. However, the UK produced the L1A1 and Canada produced the C1. South Africa, Israel, Australia, and Argentina all produced variants of the FAL. India produced an unlicensed variant, and the variant I used was an Israeli variant. Number seven. In 1980, Argentina produced the FAL MP3, chambered in 5.56 NATO, which used AR-15 mags. The FAL MP also took designs from the AR as well as early Galils, and there were only 3,000 produced. Number eight, Israeli FALs had great success in the Six Day War in 1967 on. The Bay Yom Kippur War in 1973, it was still frontline standard issue rifle, but at that point, IF forces became highly mechanized in nature, and the long, heavy FAL was no longer an option, as well as they experienced major failures, sometimes during battle. During the Yom Kippur War, many IF soldiers informally traded out the FAL on the battlefield for enemy used AK 47s taken off the battlefield. Number nine, the FN FAL's use in over 60 years have been used in 26 different wars, often on both sides of the battlefield. Number 10, despite the U.S. effort to standardize the FAL to fire the 7.62 by 51 NATO, and FN agreeing to mass produce that variant for the free world. The U.S. never adopted the FAL to replace the M1 Garand, but instead adopted the M14 at the time. With most countries decommissioning the FAL, they sold them to the U.S. importers as surplus. However, all the upper receivers were destroyed due to auto fire capabilities as stipulated in the Gun Control Act of 1968. This resulted in heavy production of parts kits to all of the FALs to function semi-automatic only. Springfield made the upper on the Israeli FAL I used. So there you go. There's the top 10 things you probably didn't know about the FAL. I'm sure there's a lot I didn't mention. If I didn't, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. <laughs>